Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Road to 56 mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Kingdom of the Netherlands Lover, but it's 1940. We're hanging out. Oh, we did get a sixth research slot with domestic innovations. The rapid industrialization of our nation has opened up new opportunities in R&D that we should pursue. We're going to doing uh, domestic vehicle designs right now, too. Uh, giving our automobile industry more freedom in handling its designs may have side effects in improving production efficiency as well. Which is great. Continental shipbuilding? Our shipyards in Holland, Zeeland, and Friesland must be greatly expanded to enable any large-scale naval construction plans. I guess at this point, like I said earlier in the last video, I just want to go to fascist, but... Um... We'll see, I guess. Because right now, the world's kind of gotten crap, but that's pretty normal in every camp campaign, so... I'll uh, get some better fighters. So here's the thing, the Axis is... They're doing well against France. Germany's losing to... Them. They lost Southeast Germany and parts of Silesia. Even though Poland took over... Slovakia, and kind of cut Czechoslovakia in half. So, yeah. I'm not sure what that's about, but, you know, whatever. Um, we're out of manpower now, which does suck. Maybe that. So we have a little bit of manpower. We can't core these because... We can't core the lowlands because we're not communist or fascist. Um, so we're bugged. My goal, I guess, at the very least, is just become fascist, at least in this campaign. Um, even though the Axis is doing quite well against France... And then I still take Italy, though, but these guys are doing still not too bad. But how about some comments first? Such as, one thing about Kojin, I wasn't friendly or as peaceful as you might have seen. If you read upon him, he's actually quite brutal and cold-hearted. Oh, you need a red dragon. That sounds, actually sounds really cool. Also, we're 56% fascist, but we still don't have the option to, like, switch to fascism. So this is definitely bugged. We do wait to an election for almost a year now at this point. People's Republic of pa Communist Pakistan. All right, whatever. Um, Kingdom of Nepal, and then the Union of the Red Dragon. Well, whatever. Definitely different than normal, right? Definitely different. I'd love to raise a conscription level, but we're not fast or communist or at war. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of sucks, not gonna lie. We can still try to recruit uh, Flemish generals. Oh, they're just Soviet demands. Oh, they, have to say, they still have to go to war with these guys. Poland's not even dead yet. You know what? Screw it. We'll try it. We'll try. We'll see what happens. UK is doing really well, though, even though Spain is dying like crazy. But you know what? What else is new? Spain is pain. Um, 1940s. Half track suspensions. Armored cars. Uh, construction speed. Railway guns. Great war railway guns. Huh. Alright then. Uh, better planes? Sure, why not? <clears throat> I just clicked on it. I didn't even know what I was clicking on. I just clicked on it, so. Uh, I'll do this. Sumatra gets a civvy. Curacao. Keep doing these two. I'm gonna keep building, 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 building. Other comments include the new ways mod got an update recently. You might want to check it out. Someone says noise. Someone else says I love the Road to 56. Uh, someone else says I think there was a Dutch war movie based on a bicycle division holding the German lines back or holding the Germans back during the Second World War. Someone else says I was waiting for German East German Asia. And someone says I'm still waiting for Goring's Wild Ride with the new DLC. Well, I wonder if Goring's new Wild Ride with works with TNO. And there goes friends. Goodbye, France. And there goes Lafia. So else asks, can you do George McGovern's USA? I think they're probably asking for, like, TNO. I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, eventually. I think I have played George McGovern, but, you know, I thought I, I, thought I did. Um, I think I read through some of these. Prepare naval expansion. We should prepare for an enlargement of our navy, uh, well in time. And therefore, we should begin pouring resources into an expansion of Dutch shipbuilding already now. So I guess the goal is just to become fascist. Like, that's it. Like, we're not going to do anything as a fascist nation, but just wait to become fascists. So. Wait, what is this? Oh. Wait, why did this fire? Or at least pop up. Control of these states is required to form a new nation. European unity. French, Italian, and German states. Um. Don't think that's our goal of this campaign. But alright. Get some more fuel, I guess. How are our ships doing? Still we're training, which is great. Um, let's go read a couple more focuses. Yeah, a couple more. Uh, let's see. Fuel. You get a fuel silo in 35 days. That is not worth it. Formalize the naval doctrine. Subs. Cruiser fleet. Um. Of course, I read through these earlier. The ultimate deterrent. A powerful air force and a powerful navy are all nice and well, but what would truly deter anyone from attacking the colonies, or otherwise violate our neutrality, with the development of atomic bomb? Make use of our riches. Our nation possesses the resources of a major power wearing the garb of a minor one. Perhaps we make better use of the riches that are available to us. We may well assent 
to the middling level. If not, our place among the dominant powers of the world once again. Well, everyone, at this point, uh, my game is super bugged, as many people did point out to me. Um, we just had supposedly elections, and all we did was get the option to go to early mobilization. So I've gone ahead and done Volk and Vaderlam. So if you remember that, please go right ahead. Uh, strength over blood. Blood should have no bearing on whether someone is a leader or not. Let those who have shown their strength lead our nation rather than those whose blood was blue upon birth. So, yeah. Um, the Yugi Storm. Swing a population away from the fervent pacifism. And within a few years, and still in them, a culture of militarism is no easy feat. With ample propaganda rhetoric, and by starting with our impressionable youth, we'll manage it to the fullest extent we're able to. Which would be nice. Uh, we could join Germany, but we might be able to join them anyways. Let's go with the Netherlands' first campaign. The Netherlands has all the wealth and natural resources to be a great power in its own right. We make proper use of it, and continue to our own society. We do not need German help to carve out our own place in this world. Oh, the United Netherlands. We're going to that place here as well. Concessions to the Japanese shogunate. It's known that the Japanese have designs on a prosperous colonies in the east. Our armed forces will not be able to fend off the threat. Perhaps we could establish a favorable agreement. Uh, maybe? <coughs> Excuse me. The Dutch hope set up the Japanese Navy. Now the situation has changed and we show behind the naval development. Cooperation with Japan matters in matters like these could help propel our naval forces implement the program. Now that the nation is secure for, under the leadership of our leader, it is time to implement the party's program. A strong government, economic and social reforms, and an abolition of free press or free press freedom. And voting rights are all but a few points that will make our people stronger. All must do the duty for the fatherland. Which is also pretty good, too. Taking back our old colonies. <clears throat> our temporary weakness resulting from Napoleon's conquest earlier, nearly 150 years ago allows us to make colony to the British. The populations of many of these still share Dutch culture and heritage. We must take back our old colonial possessions and take back French Flanders. The historical extent of the Low Countries has since been partitioned by the major powers surrounding it. Of these, the German Reich still holds a sizable amount of land that is considered a part of historical Flanders. We're not strong enough to take it back, so we should. And imperial ambitions. As people revel in the glory that befits our status as an imperial power, all their demands is to take back our old colonies of New Nederland and the northeastern U.S. of A. And so if you learn about these, please go right ahead. I'm kind of really disappointed that this bugged out for us. We can cater to the Germans too, I guess, if we want to. <clears throat> it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I got really... I'm kind of disappointed that this did bug out, so... Um, if you're going to read about all of these, please go ahead. We got anti-air too, huh? Well, obviously you can't do some of this stuff just because... Air cover for the new fleet. Destroy models? No, I forgot. No heritage. Unsinkable aircraft carriers? That's fine. Um, modernized air fleet, of course. Um, strategic bombing defense. Long-range models. Aviatic aspirations, light tank for colonies, secret staff talks, so there's that. Lessons from the last war, of course. Uh, protect against the British, because we can further do this stuff too. Southward defenses and warm pacifism. So, yeah, and then all this stuff too. So, I apologize for having used cons commands for this, but like, bro, it's bugged. The foundations of defense, huh? Alright. Can't do that one too, because we don't own Java. Western possessions. There's that stuff too. And open second Panam Bows at Mine. And add to these defenses. With preempt Venezuelan aggression. Which actually be really cool. So that's all the focuses here that we can do. We can do this one too, but yeah, other than that, we'll come over and can we do anything else? Because it doesn't make any sense since we already we're literally 74% fascist now after taking all those focuses. So And we still can't do this? Because the ruling party is not fascist. And now everyone. I've gone ahead and just used cons commands to so do unite the lowlands. So hopefully we get these as cores, the unification of the low countries. And we're doing suppressed subjects, but we're now the kingdom of Belgium. Uh, uh what? Wait, why are we Belgium then? I mean it says we're the kingdom of I don't know about that. This is really weird. Oh, now we've got fascist march in Holland. Having been refused their referendum, almost a token attempt at seizing power legally, the fascists have used their significant public support and connections to the Belgian military to attempt a coup. The true government has refused the terms and claims is going to fight it to the end and preserve the kingdom of Belgium as we know it. Stop it at many costs. Um. Uh. Or Dietzlin. Now we get Anton Mussert. He's our leader. Um, I don't like how bug this is, but okay. I wonder if the devs know about this bug at all. What is this? Re reserve transfer. Reinforce rate. Our first supply troops is essential to keeping the fighting divisions ready to fight. And we do have planes here as well, so we combine and make them bigger. 
All right, well. Where are you guys at? Ah, you're down there. Well, okay. All right, at least in the end here, we got a little bit of a civil war. Can we join your faction? Uh, you know what? Let's not join them yet. Anything else first? Anything else here first? No. Um, it's very odd, but okay. Well, at least we won fascists eventually. Water lines, national unification, political military unification. Ooh, that hurts our political power game minus 50%. Jesus. That one first. I want to say no first for now. Oh, looks like that division died down there. That sucks. These guys should be pretty darn thick. Yeah, that's fine for now. I mean, we can always join them later, so. Probably. Or does them come in now, right now? Screw it. Who cares? Um, uh, let's join faction. That's fine. Ask him in the war. Yeah. Oh, Japan also joined the Axis too, so. Where are you going? Where are you going, son? Also, I did give this part of France to, uh, to Britain to make it look slightly nicer. So, there's that. Um, yeah. Similar line production. We do that stuff, I don't really care at this point. I just don't want to be called Belgium. Are these guys called Belgium? No, they're still called the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Which makes no sense. We should be having air superiority. We lost a plane here. So be it. Japanese technological cooperation. To ensure military superiority, the Japanese government encourages technological cooperation with its allies. They're ready to get their blueprints already. Well, alright. That's nice. I had a time, I don't really care at this point. Well, I mean, this is our core territory, so... Yay, we won! Yay! As we should, now we can't do anything now, because of war... <laughs> we cheated for the focus tree, and yeah. Um... Okay, well, whatever. I guess that's gonna be it for us, just because I... I guess the Medium Wars is fighting the Soviets. Common turn. That's a very strong... <clears throat> Japan. Oh. And the North American alliance with Canada, America, and the Dutch cities and the other fake Dutch, but, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, so that's it. If you enjoyed this really freakish campaign, uh, leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. And hopefully a campaign that isn't so bugged. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.